Faces of Death, later re-released as the original Faces of Death, is a 1978 American Mondo horror film written and directed by John Allen Schwartz. The documentary-style film revolves on Dr. Francis Gross, who shows the viewer a range of material from various sources depicting various terrible methods of dying. A woman living on a farm is sharpening a hatchet, she takes out a chicken, she places the chicken on a big wooden log and chops its head off with the hatchet, the chicken is later shown running and jumping up and down with no head and its blood is gushing out of its head. I would say that this scene is pretty cruel, there should be better ways of slaughtering livestock instantly without making them feel so much pain, animals have feelings just as humans do, and this woman slaughters animals in a gruesome manner. Sheeps, cows and other livestock on a slaughterhouse are shown in the next scene. I won't show the full part of this scene as it shows cows and lambs being slaughtered in a very questionable manner, this film was documented in 1978. The Human Slaughter Act was updated in 1979, and inspectors from the United States Department of Agriculture were given the ability to stop the slaughtering line if cruelty was witnessed. Officially, slaughtering was to be suspended until the cruelty, whether caused by equipment or human error, was corrected. Animals should be stunned into unconsciousness before being slaughtered to provide a less painful death than previous killing methods. Electrocution and CO2 stunning for pigs, and captive bolts stunning for cattle, sheep, and goats, are the most popular procedures. Electronarchosis is largely regarded as the safest, most humane, and most reliable type of electrocution, as well as the surest way to shock the animal and render them pain insensitive. The United States Department of Agriculture, on the other hand, gradually ceased enabling Department of Agriculture inspectors to stop the line because doing so costs the sector a lot of time. A dancing lady is shown dancing for tourists at a restaurant and the waiter is carrying wine and serving the tourists who are there to participate in a bizarre Probably ritual. Here. The waiter claps for the restaurant specialty and another waiter brings a monkey to the tourist's table. I'm not going to show the full scene but they put the monkey in a trap that is in the middle of the table, the tourists beat the monkey on the head with an object, the monkey dies and they carve open the monkey's head and they take out the brains in its skull. Each of the tourists eat the monkey's brains and the rest of its remains, this scene looks pretty gruesome. I think Dr. Francis Gross tries to make this scene look real. When I was watching this film for the first time I actually thought that the scene of the monkey being carved open and being eaten looked quite real. The waiter signal for the house specialty. Good evening. Here's the good food and I want. A tribesman strikes an animal with a blow dart, the animal gets hit with the dart on its neck and it tries to pull out the dart. But the tribesman blows a second dart on the animal's neck and the animal still tries to pull out the darts from its neck, the animal later falls from the tree branch. The tribe makes a white alcohol drink, which is mixed with saliva and they stir it inside a traditional pot. The tribe drinks it as a special celebration. A man wearing black sunglasses and carrying an assault rifle opens fire on a seal and a shark in the water. Another man is shown throwing a net into the water to catch a shark and he also throws an underwater spear at the shark. A group of men in Alaska kill and slaughter seals for their skin, the seals are beaten to death with huge wooden objects and their skin is removed and sold to make a lucrative income for the government. This is yet another gruesome scene that depicts animals being mistreated in the film. Two poachers who are on a paddle boat illegally hunt for alligators on a swamp to make some money, they sell the alligator's skin on the black market. Dr. Francis Gross says that the poachers can kill up to 20 alligators in a single day. Animal control officials respond to a call about an alligator that has been seen by the local residents of the area. A woman tells the animal control officials that it is by the lake and one of the officers tries to catch it with a long rope that has a noose, 
but the alligator manages to pull the rope and drags the officer into the lake. A politician holding a press briefing gets assassinated as he delivers his speech. An assassin is seen doing target practice on watermelons and a dummy doll. The assassin is wearing a mask and his voice is altered. This is what he says. My name is Francois Jardin. I'm a Harold assassin. When I kill, it is for business, not for political, not even social value. A SWAT team exchanges fire with an armed murderer who is inside a house. The murderer gets shot and killed by the SWAT team and it later turns out that the man actually murdered his whole family. When the SWAT team entered the killer's home, they discovered the bodies of his family lying on the floor. A priest is holding a Bible and standing next to an open coffin and inside the coffin you can see a young woman lying inside it. They carry the coffin to a cemetery. A criminal who was sentenced to death is taken to the electric chair by correctional officers. The criminal is later placed on the electric chair and they place tape around his eyes so that they don't pop out when he gets electrocuted.